just walking down the hill in this beautiful skies just hanging around here heading into garden to see what I can pick for dinner because I realized it's almost seven o'clock and I haven't eaten yet nor have I gone to the grocery store so I'm gonna head over this way and see what I can find to snack on it has been a good day. The parents are almost home from the beach with cousins and uncles and adopted nieces and nephews in tow. So it is about to get very busy and very boisterous around here, which is all right. It has been a nice few days of chill time, but let's see. So you can see my patented chicken keeper outer is still in place and working beautifully. Let's see here if I can turn on water, hold you, and do all this at the same time. Do, do, do. I want that water. Turn that on. Oh, hold on. Look, there's, there's clouds. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Made it. Uh, this salary out here I've been waiting to put in kind of succession style, and it's looking peaky, but it'll be fine. It's Chinese pink salary, and I need to make a video about that because, well, yeah. Oh, oh, I have to show you this. Okay, hold on. This is awkward with my colander in hand <laughs> and the phone. So I know I said in a couple videos ago, and there's such a mess I have to clean up, and I keep saying that, and I haven't done it. It's just not high on the priority list. Um, that I thought my grapes were a total fail. They weren't doing anything. I kept trying to pull them out and see, but as you can see, I have two that are putting on leaves, which means they are also rooting. Now the rest of them still aren't doing anything and may never do anything, but I at least have two that I can plant. And those are my favorite ones. So that is super exciting. I still am watering these and as it gets hotter, I may have to water more and more because this is not a great place. I may put some shade cloth over them and see. Um, let's grab the bowl. Oh, look. These tomatoes are the first that I pulled out and planted. Those are suckers and they are looking really good. These two were about two days later and they're just starting to get there. So there we go. Tomato sucker experiment, year two. It's getting started. This is some, let's see, some dwarf Greek basil. And I realized that I planted it a little too close to the tomatoes. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, the tomatoes were smaller at the time. They should be fine. But I do like having uh, basil right next to my tomatoes. The tomatoes are reaching over to the trellis and starting to kind of weave their way up. Some of them, not all of them. Um, oh, the garden is such a mess. Such a mess. But the bales are looking so good. These are the crown of thorns that got super leggy. Grew those from seed inside. I tried growing them just by putting them out in the ground last year, did not do anything. So they were leggy and not happy and the adjustment with the Epsom salts, the nitrogen and just kind of balancing out the fertilizer has made them do great. Um, super happy about that. I've got a pumpkin I need to plant. That's actually for upstairs. Oh yeah, some peppers I still haven't put in the bales yet and also some ground cherries because I was just waiting to see what happened and these guys are putting on uh, flowers, so I need to do something with them so they can have a happy home. The onions are looking pathetic and I need to, those are good, those are ones I just planted this year, but these are all from the onion experiment and obviously the experiment only goes so far, so I need to pull them out and have a giant onion stir fry of some sort. This Cicada Sweet Melon is doing so well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I have the Kajari Melon over here and the Tommy Apple Melon that are both kind of pathetic, but they're starting to pick up a little bit. Those both started to grow and then the bugs got them or the cold or something. And so these are the second round of seeds. So they're a little behind. The cicadas didn't have that problem, except this one. See, like this one, like, I don't know what got that one. This one, obviously, and there's another, there's actually two in here. Here's one and then this, this one's going to town. I need to pick some of the leaves, but yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on with that, but the beans here are doing well. These are some lemon cucumbers. I planted some more from seed because they weren't doing well here. This is a cantaloupe and this is a cantaloupe I grew from seed and it is really not happy. It never has been. This whole bed 
just is weird. Um, carrots are finally coming up sporadically. There should be turnips and beets and radishes. I've had no beets at all. And I've planted twice. I've had no, I've had like two turnips. It's just a weird, weird bed this year. The corn though is looking great on this end. And my perennial lettuce, I'm just kind of pe keeping picked back. It went to seed a little bit and really I want the corn to grow up there not so much this random lettuce. That wasn't my favorite lettuce in the first place. Speaking of lettuce, I think I'm gonna add some of that into my colander to start with. Um, this grew all from last August and I'm just gonna pull some from the edges and start filling my bowl here. Um, so yeah, this has been growing since last August. It died all the way back because I didn't cover them at all. So in January, it kind of gave up the ghost, but has come back again. And it has, uh, I need to pick more of it really. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I missed my bowl, hold on. Let's get that one so we don't go to waste. The donkeys love this part because I give them pieces. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, oh, this sounds like the car is coming up. I may stop this and come back to you later. You may not get to see the rest of what I pick. Look at these onions. These are the ones that have been growing since last, like, March when I put them in. And I picked those others that were super huge. I'll put the video link so you can see the picture. Um, and a lot of the side shoots, these were gorgeous, but a lot of the side shoots got bugged. But they're still going and they're huge and I kind of just want to let, I don't know how big they'll get and I guess this is another garden experiment. I'm just going to try and see what happens. Alright, so I got enough of that lettuce, but I'm going to get some other colors. The Brad's Atomic Grape here is the tomato that's doing the worst right now. Don't know why, but I put another spare one I had in the sick bay that parked up. I put it down in the hay bales to see what happens since none of my beans and peas down there really have taken off. Um, just too much imbalance because of all those rains. Let's see, coming this way. Um, that is supposed to be a little potato cucumber. And as you can see, it is little. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. The artichoke is kind of serious. I need to pick a lot of artichokes. Uh, or let them go to flower, they're gorgeous. This is the other tomato I put in the ground. And look, I have one a rock. I planted this whole side, half of it with a rock and half of it with spinach. And as you can see, just weird weather. But this little baby came up and so, and there's a little green one back there. That's some mignotina. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to pick that. I need to watch. And my gardener was the one who I got the seeds from and he has a little video about it. So I need to go watch that again. Ooh, snap peas. Those are coming in the salad. Ooh, and look at, that's my, uh, I definitely need some of my purple lettuce in here too. I'm about to drop clippers on my toes. So I'm sorry about that, that was awkward. But definitely need some snappy peas. Let's see. I don't know what's going on here. This is the second year with the raised beds and I guess the first year you do have anything, it kind of just works. I put in, you know, of course, fresh soil and all that. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Those 90, <laughs> the two 90 degree days in the midst of everything else, just kind of wrecked havoc on certain things. I did lose one of my pea plants from this corner. It got too dried out. And then these are showing, showing some, or were showing some signs of distress besides the yellowing. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but we'll see, I don't know. I usually, at this point, I keep saying usually, and I guess there's not always a usually, but usually <laughs> by this time, the pea plants are up here. And I've, you know, been picking hundreds and hundreds of pea plants. Because you can never really have too many peas. Oh, I gotta remember the wasp nest and be careful. Let's see, look at those beauties. Um, yeah, that little log right there has a lovely, it's actually this cutest little wasp nest in it, but I'm gonna have to get rid of it because that's a little dangerous with animals and kids out here and me. So it's gonna have to go somewhere. If I knew someone with a bee suit, they could move it somewhere else and I just happily let them because wasps are pollinators. Look at that, that's looking good. Let's get some of this purple lettuce here. I actually could go down to the bale and pick some of the purple there. Oh, here comes sweet tater tot. Obviously I've been neglecting her for too long. Such a mess here. I need to get better about cleaning up things as I go along. That's a goal for some time. Not right this second though, because you know, 
I'm just picking some uh, lettuces. Look at how these are exactly like tiny. So these were all planted at the same time. Like every single one of these was planted at the same time. I just don't know what's going on. Weird growing patterns. And I actually wanted to put the lettuces here with the peas because the afternoon sun is so strong that I was hoping that the peas would help shade the lettuces so they wouldn't bolt as readily. Um, you know, just, oops, sorry, that's my finger. Let's see where you go. There we go. Um, you know, just to kind of keep my lettuces going a little longer because there's nothing like fresh lettuce. Hi, sweet tater tot and the cat. <laughs> oh, this girl. Oh, yes, you're a squisher. You're just a squishy purr. Oh, there we go. Um, let's see, what else? Do I need any more of those? Nah. Let's see. Got most of the snappy peas. I think I'm gonna go see if there's any strawberries to add in. Strawberries and lettuce and snap peas, some beautiful. Ooh, look at the Tiny Tim tomatoes that are putting on flowers. So exciting. And these I can leave because they're they only get this big. The cabbage is coming back, and the red Russian kale is actually looking decent in spots. This is a potato. This used to be my Yes, Tater, we see you. Don't you dare jump on the bill. Um, <laughs> this end of the garden was the potato. Okay, do you see this? Those are my legs and my pants. Really, cat. Um, I don't know if the Bergia is edible. That's gorgeous. So pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have anything down here that's really edible, except I might grab another kind of this kind of lettuce, too. This is, I think, a little butter lettuce. So hold on, let me turn this so I can grab a couple leaves. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. As you can hear, there are children present now. <laughs> Everyone's come home. Um, oh, what a kind of lettuce is this? See, I don't really know what I planted over here. There is another Arak. Look, I have whopping three Araks from, I planted the whole pack. Um, I think that's lettuce, not a weed. We'll see, we'll just need to pick more lettuce. Oh, there you go, that's pretty. Hmm, interesting. It's the only one growing like that, I don't know what it is. Tater, what's the matter, baby? Watch out for the bugs. Um, that was how I discovered that the hornet's nest was there. One of the cats was in here kneading on the log and then all of a sudden took off like a lightning bolt. Those squash are looking gorgeous, they're happy. And I didn't really mean for them to be all that close together, but then the bale tipped and they got closer, so I'm just leaving them. Look, I put this Brad's tomato in yesterday, and it's looking all right. Now this little, what is that? Is that a lemon cucumber? I'm still not super happy. I don't know. The beans and peas here, gee, not even close to happy. Um, this bale, I'm having trouble with my bales right by the trellises, which is unfortunate because now my trellises won't be all pretty, but I may just have to go buy some flowers and pop them in there. Because the flowers I started from seed, I started way too late. Oh look, there's some beans starting. Oh look at the babies, look at how cute those are. Look at, all right, that's awesome. All right, cool. So, well, I think that's all that's edible. I'm not feeling, it's not really a full garden tour, it's just me getting my dinner. Um, so look, there's, that's a big old bowl of salad. I'm probably gonna split that with someone. Someone's bound to want some. Let's go see if there are any strawberries. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, look at the sun. Look at how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. The hummingbird hasn't been out this evening. That's interesting. Usually, at least one of them is flying around when I'm not here. Huh. There's my favorite tree. The whole herd was down here earlier, but they've gone upstairs. I'm gonna pause this for a second so I can go say hi to people and they're not gonna be on camera because there's children. Um, look at how pretty that is. And I'll come back to you when I'm picking strawberries. Well, there was ping pong playing and motorhome cleaning out over by the strawberry patch. So I picked and picked and I think I have a few too many for just a basic salad. So I'm gonna end up taking these inside and washing them. We'll have them with Swedish hotcakes in the morning. But I thought I'd come check the blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, weedy, whatever thing is going on here. Um, these are actually loganberries. They're not blackberries. Let's see if I can get in here. This, so this raspberry bush, 
oops, as I fall down the hill, um, this raspberry bush, as you can see, is a bush. And I thought this one was the same, which is why I put it where there's no support, but apparently not. So I have to figure out how to get all these beautiful canes that if they were up on that wire right there would be amazing for next year, but are all running along the ground. So I'm gonna have to figure out some supports for them in a place that I didn't really want supports. But that's all right, let's see. These are Logan berries. So the blackberry bush, I think, got a weed a whacked at some point. So I'm not sure exactly when Logan berries are ripe. I'm just gonna test a few and see. Okay, don't you fall down, strawberries. Put those there, there you go. So this one looks nice and dark. Maybe too dark. Comes off pretty easily. It's a taste test. It looks dusty. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Well, that's delicious. All right. I see you, Logan Berries. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's try this one. See, I don't know exactly when they're ripe, so I picked some that were a little tart earlier. Mmm. I don't mind things tart. I always like, like, sweet and sour and lemon stuff. Sour Patch Kids back in the day when I used to eat that stuff. I'm gonna pick a few of these. Not too many, because I don't think they're quite ready yet. They come off easily, I'll take them. Ah, there you go, this one. Just came right off. Oh, look at that beauty. Mmm, 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 tasty. Oh, look, here's some. Look at that thing, it's big. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, look, it's like two all together. That's weird. These are weird. Partially this whole vine's a little weird because I had it trained, but I kind of forgot about it. So a lot of this was down on the ground and they just slid it up so it's a lot more in the air so there's not as much touching the ground and it's doing better. But look at those beauties. These are more ripe. This one I think is gonna be a little too, too tart for the kids. But I will have to eat it then. This works for me. All right. This hill's a little precarious and I have on, these were my outdoor shoes. But they are all cracked. I don't know if you can see the cracking. Here, look. You're upside down. But look, they're all cracked and falling apart. They didn't last very long. These are bogs. And actually, they didn't even last a year. So, kind of disappointed in those. Probably won't get those again. But they're not so great for climbing up the hill. I wasn't really prepared to come pick these, but I remembered that they might be ripe. And indeed, there are some gorgeous berries here. Oh yeah. So, thanks for joining me while I came out to make dinner. <laughs> I hope everything is going well with you and I will see you tomorrow. I'll probably add a little more to this vlog tomorrow on Sunday before I post on Monday. Just to let you know a little more about what's going on in the garden and say hi properly. I'll see you tomorrow. I forgot two things. This thing, look at those fingers, you see that? This thing is actually golden raspberries, which I totally forgot until I just picked three and ate them promptly. So sadly, I have none to show you. Um, the other thing is, what I'm going to do with this is after I save some of the berries for breakfast in the morning, I'm going to have lettuce, snap peas, and a mix of berries with some balsamic vinegar, and that will be a delicious dinner. I may throw a little goat cheese on it if we have it. If not, that will just be what I have. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow.